Hey guys, Bing here. Today I'm going to quickly talk about um, work plan based family. So work plan based family. So it's actually a, a just a generic model uh, instead of a uh, so something like these ones like face based, floor based, ceiling based, roof based, wall based. It's a, just a generic model with an option here. So see work plan based. So um, you can also go family top uh, category and par um, parameters. So work plan based. It's the same thing. So you can check it. Once you check it, once you check this option, it becomes a work plan based. So first, I'm going to just uncheck this one and I'll just model something here. And I'll load this. I'll create a new project, and I'll show you uh, roughly show you the difference. Difference. Okay. So load this family. In this is uh, just a normal family. So you can see it's just like a um, like a, a furniture. So when you place it, place onto the host uh, a host onto this uh, ground floor, which is the associate level of this floor plan. So if you look at here, so associated level ground floor. So once you place it, it will place it onto it, it will be placed onto the uh, floor plan. Okay, so there's not m many options you can do. So only pick new host. So of course in this view, you you won't be able to pick any other host. So because you can only pick the whole uh, level, so you won't be able to see any host. So if you go to elevation, you will be able to pick new host. So for example, pick a different level. Okay, um, and that's it. You can also uh, um, move them away from this host, and or you can just type in a offset. Okay, so that's it. So now let's edit this family and check this work plan based and load this back into the project. Let's have a look and see what's what the difference is. So first I'm going to create another one. So select this one CS create similar. So now you can see uh, I can't just place it here. So you will see this little uh, circle with the uh, forward slash or yep with um, so this symbol so if you click on that it says oh you need to f uh, couldn't find appropriate host so you need to do something to this one so because the first one the default um, sel will select this place on face so which means you need to have something to place this family on so it can be a floor so for example if I draw a floor here and then I if I cre create if I create another one, CS, and place on face, so you will see I can place on this floor. Or I can also maybe place on this family, so stack them, stack the new one on the this one. Okay, so um, if you don't have anything to place, you can still, so CS, create a new one, so you can still use this place on word plan instead so uh, you you can click select this place on word plan and still choose a, a floor to place so you can if you place ground floor and place it here it will be the same as um, previous the the non work plan based family so if I go to elevation so you will see this is new one I create created it's been placed onto the ground floor level so see work plan ground floor level and you can also drag them so this is the offset here okay and also you can add work plan so here so pre previously previously it's pick new host but if 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 you change this to a work plan based family it will change to uh, pick new and edit work plan so now I'm I'm going to quickly show you the difference. Okay, so I just create a reference plan here. So actually, I'll create a reference plan that parallel to the level. Okay, so now if I 
what's this for? What well, this is for if if you want to change the reference plan of this, sorry, if we want to change the work plan of this family to some other work plan, which is parallel to the 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 previous work plan. So for example, if I want to change this to this onto this reference plan, we can do edit work plan, pick plan, OK, and pick this reference plan, reference plan. OK, so you can also do this, pick plan. And you can also go to this list and see, for example, I can pick this ground floor, it will go down. And if you name, for example, if you name a reference plan, you will be able to find this reference plan in this list. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> you can also pick a face that's uh, parallel to the current work plan. So for example, I can pick the the floor. Okay. I can also pick the maybe this. Uh, you will always uh, you can say you can see that uh, when I use this edit 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 work plan, it will only change the the work plan of this family, but it won't move them. So if I go to floor plan and I, if I edit work plan, so the location of this family won't move. So it won't move this way or move that way. So it will stay here. It only changed the work plan. Okay, and then I'll show you what this one does. So this with this one, so you still have two options. So so if you use the the second option, which is work plan, it will be the same to this. So it, so for example, if I click on the work plan, so you, you will see all the you can you can see all the list of these uh, reference plan and level, and also you can you can use this pick if you click on pick and then you will have still same this list and pick a plan so pretty much everything in in here in edit work plan but the only the difference of pick new is you can also pick face which means if i go to 3d view so you will notice that i can pick any face any face Okay, so even the vertical face. So I'll just create quickly. Uh, if I quickly uh, create a some a building, so a little house. Okay, so roof. So now uh, we have a little house here. Okay, so now if I select this one, and if I use pick new, and use this face. And you can see I can actually pick any face of this this little house, but because of one of the settings, so you can't place this family here. It will say, oh, you can't uh, rotate something something. So what we need to do is go edit this family and uncheck the always vertical option. Okay, so now if I load this back into this project and then select this one and pick new face and we now we will be able to place this family anywhere on this house so for number this and now if i see create, as create new one and use the place on face it will be the same so if we place it here place it here place it here place it here okay and you can you can still use place work plan but instead of using the reference, uh, reference plan or levels, you can use pick and you can pick a plan. So for example, I can pick, I can pick this plan, but when I place, I can place outside of this plan. So for example, I can place it here. It looks like it's floating away, but it's actually follow this word plan, so this face. So for, for, for example, if I drag this roof, you will see, it follows this. See this 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 is this family is placed onto this face. Okay, so that's I think that's it. Yeah, it's 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 very similar to face based family, but it's more flexible. It's more flexible because face based family you can't change that 
change the face space family back to normal uh, normal family but we're plan based so if you want to you can just uncheck that one and become a normal um, family it's just like furniture a chair a table something like that okay so that's it um, if you have any question please let me know um, okay I'll see you next time thank you bye